Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about perpendicularity of a line in a plane. And we're going to go through some practice problems, so we're going to do that all in one video. All right, let's talk about the definition of a perpendicular, a line perpendicular to a plane. So a line is perpendicular to a plane if it is perpendicular to every one of the lines in the plane that pass through its foot. So as part of uh, the homework that I assigned to my students, I'm going to ask them to prove uh, theorem 48, and theorem 48, at least in our book, and thank goodness we don't have to prove that uh, a line is perpendicular to every one of the lines and show every single line in the plane passes through its foot. Because now we have uh, theorem 48, which says that if a line is perpendicular to two distinct lines that lie in a plane that pass through its foot, then it's perpendicular to the plane. So if I have uh, here a line N and M, and I have uh, another line, let's call it R S, and line R S is perpendicular to line M and N, then I know R S is perpendicular to every line that passes through the foot. So remember, it's a point of intersection <clears throat> of the line R S, and that given line that's in the plane. So I can draw any number of lines that run through this point here, which is the foot that's on the plane. And I know that RS is going to be perpendicular to any one of those black lines that I've drawn. All right, so I challenge you then, given this information, I have ray uh, BF and CF lie in plane M. AF is perpendicular to FB and FC. I want you to prove that AF is perpendicular to line M. So that's my challenge question to you. You can check back on the videos later to see if you have the correct solution to this particular problem. Right, so let's move on. We're going to talk about, uh, I believe, just one practice problem. And this practice problem <clears throat> uh, involves uh, several lines that are uh, potentially perpendicular or a line that's potentially perpendicular to plane M. So I'm given that EF is perpendicular to CF, EF is perpendicular to CF, CE is congruent to DE, and angle FCD is congruent to FDC. So I've marked up the diagram. I have EF, which is perpendicular to CF. I have uh, CE, which is congruent to DE. CE is congruent to DE. I have angle FCD, which is congruent, and that's in blue, to try or to angle FDC. So I've uh, I've also marked up what I can infer from the uh, information that I've been given. I know that ECD is congruent to E ECD is congruent to EDC, but I also know uh, because FCD angle FCD and FDC are congruent. I know that CF is congruent to DF, and the way that I know that is because if angles are congruent, the sides opposite them are congruent. All right, so now I have two triangles that are congruent by side, side, side. I have EFD, so I have EFD, so I have a side, side, and a side. And I also have EFC, side, side, and side. So I have two triangles that are congruent by side, side, side. I know that EFC is a right angle, so I can say by CPCTC that EFD is also a right angle. Let's mark that in in blue here. It was just a highlighter. So EFD is also a right angle. So if EFC is a right angle and EFD is a right angle, then I know that EF is perpendicular to line M because if I have one line that's perpendicular to two lines that are on a plane, then I know that one line is going to be perpendicular to every line that passes through the foot of uh, the point of intersection of plane M. All right, so let's look at the, uh, the two column proof. Again, EF is perpendicular to CF. <clears throat> so I mark that up. That's given CE is congruent to DE. CE is congruent to DE. Angle FCD is congruent to FDC. So FCD congruent to FDC. Now I know that CF is congruent to DF. Let's say CF is congruent to DF segment because I know if angles are congruent and the sides opposite them are congruent. EF is congruent to itself. 
So I have two triangles that are congruent by side angle side. I'm sorry, side, side, side. I know EFC is a right angle. It's definition of perpendicular uh, lines. I can say that EFC, angle EFC, is congruent to EFD by CPCTC because I have the two triangles by side, side, side that are congruent. Now EFD is a right angle. Those congruent angles have the same measure, and if the measure of an angle is 90 degrees, then I know that that angle is a right angle. Now I can say because EFD is a right angle, EF is perpendicular to DF. So EF is perpendicular to DF. And that's definition of perpendicular lines. Now I can see EF is perpendicular to plane M uh, because if a line is perpendicular to two lines in a plane, it is perpendicular to the plane itself.